looking at the weather now again today. Lots going on this weekend. Don't want to relive the weekend, mm -hmm. right? We saw the winds that we Moving did on. see. But I, I would love to relive this sunset. Check out this photo. Is that what I started on? I think I had that one to go. Yeah, Meg Roberts out capturing uh, the sunset for Salt Lake Valley this evening. Boy, just a phenomenal array of colors as the sun was going down. Gorgeous there. We would like to relive some of the snow totals, right? Just not without, or just without the wind. Park City Mountain reported 18 inches in 24 hours, 15 at Solitude, Brighton 13 inches a foot at Bryan Head. Beaver Mountain had 11 inches of snow. Peggy Sorensen in Woodland Hills reports 12 inches in total, 8 inches yesterday, another 4 inches on top of it this morning when she got up. Snow totals across uh, some of the areas in a foot at Woodland Hills, as I mentioned, you went to 10 inches of snow. Bountiful Bench had 9 along with Mountain Green. Layton Bench, 7.5 inches. A good 6 inches of snow at Clinton, Richfield, Tooele, Cedar City had about 4. Uh, last check, at least with the Weather Service, they've had some snow showers off and on throughout some of the late afternoon and evening. We're seeing some snow across east central portions of the state, and we talked about some of the drive conditions along I-15 from roughly Fillmore all the way down to Beaver has been pretty dicey, especially along some of those higher passes. Cove Fort Hill has been dicey as well with some of these showers. Well, zoom in shot here with Futurecast. Uh, a little bit more snow moving in along a weak front overnight could bring another half inch to an inch of snowfall across areas of northern Utah before you head out the door tomorrow morning. Might make more, uh, more for a slick commute across some of northern Utah as well. Otherwise, pretty calm stretch of weather late Monday into early Tuesday. The active pattern continues. Another weak disturbance sliding through this one, mainly generating a few mountains snow showers early Tuesday could see some scattered moisture beyond that and then another system late uh, Wednesday into Thursday. So we'll keep just a slight chance of moisture in place. The areas we're concerned about overnight are going to be these areas with the winter storm warnings in place. 6 to 12 inches in total for the central mountains of additional snowfall. 3 to 6 for the western Uintas, the Wasatch Plateau. Most of our models showing fairly light accumulations with the exception of the higher ranges have a good chance of seeing some decent snowfall overnight tonight with little accumulation in the valleys. Temperatures tomorrow still colder than normal. 57 for St. George. A few clouds around. Otherwise, a pretty nice day overall. A bit breezy. 62 on Tuesday. Close to average high temperatures again by midweek. Slight chance of showers even for St. George Thursday. Temperatures back to the mid 60s on Saturday. Partly cloudy on Sunday. The Wasatch Front. Again, a slight chance of some light snow tomorrow morning with the cold temperatures, the surfaces now, the road surface is now cold. Anything that falls will likely make it slick. Upper 30s for highs. We jump about 10 degrees on Tuesday. Still a slight chance of some showers. Rain chances on Wednesday, 49. A bit of rain and snow on Thursday. Should see clearing conditions into the weekend. Maybe a touch more moisture early next week as well.